There's different trills you can use, half step, whole steps. So in this song, uh, I, I chose a, a minor third trill. So uh, on the tenor on that first high trill I did at the end that's um, playing a C note, I'm trilling an E flat. So uh, obviously the side, side E flat fingering and you're just playing a C. And obviously you got the octave key down because it's in the octave higher and you're just shaking it like that. Right? You jump down to the F and another, uh, again, a minor third. Um, so minor, I'm trilling the A flat. What you have to do is, is hold down the F note and hold down the A flat note. So I'm just moving just moving the F note. Finger an F and an A flat at the same time and then just keep the A flat fingering down 
and then just a trill with your root note there. And then again, um, I trilled this the C to E flat in the middle octave. Um, obviously, um, we're not going to play our middle octave E flat, right? Uh, we're going to cheat and do the exact same fingering as we did on the higher octave. And um, of course, uh, playing a side E uh, side palm key E flat in the middle octave is not is never a good idea unless you're doing it on this uh, little trill right so because it's not we don't want we don't need a pure note out of it so we're going to get away with it and then of course I just ended it ended the thing with uh, uh, with the F again on the lower octave uh, I think on the alto part um uh, if anybody's reading that, well, you know, you got some sort of straight ahead ones like the, if you're, if you're playing a G and you're trilling a B flat, you're going to finger a G and do a bis key B flat and just hold that B flat down and trill your G, right? Uh, the other one that's not too much fun is trilling a... Uh, holding down the low C and trilling a D. So you're 